뭐야 이건? 아? 어? 야, 저 소리 들었어? 저기! 저기 꽃! 가자! 가자! 두 guys with two completely opposing survival tactics will show how to navigate this impenetrable landscape and make it out alive. People think of Hawaii as just an island paradise. It's also a great way to meet your maker. Very violent terrain. Easy to get spun around here. Very thick jungle, steep, loose rocks, moss all over the place. In addition to the deadly terrain of Hawaii's forgotten islands, there is another danger. Wild boars run rampant and pose a violent threat to hunters and unsuspecting visitors. They're extremely aggressive, very unpredictable, extremely territorial. Especially if there are babies around, they will attack, period. This is extremely thick jungle. It's hard for the sun to penetrate through. It's hard to see for more than maybe 30, 35 feet. Hey, Cody, hold on a second. What? <laughs> Dude, check this out. Wow. This is a boar hunting spear. Well, it used to be. This area is infested with razorback boar. They propagate very, very quickly, and now they're running rampant. Finding that spear tip is a huge boost for me. I just want to be able to protect ourselves if we run across some of these things. Why don't you take that off and I'll go get something to, to wrap that spear tip up with. Good idea. God bless, man. actually pretty cool. I kind of feel like a Spartan. This is Sparta! <laughs> this is Sparta! <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty damn hungry. I want to use that spear that I made, and I want to see if I can go hunt a pig down. Because they're everywhere here. You're kidding, right? If I don't do that, what do you want to do for food? Uh, bamboo shoots, worms. Bro, I I'll be honest with you, man. I know you've probably eaten stuff that wouldn't make a billy goat puke. Who wouldn't want food out here? But even the lion gets wounded. Even sure. the wolf gets wounded. Just because you're top of the food chain doesn't mean you can't get the kicked out of you. You got to remember something about me. Everything I've done over the last 20-some years has all had a basis of risk-reward. There's no risk in the worms. If you get hurt, I get hurt. Cody and I can sit here and talk until he's blue in the damn face. It's over. It's done. I'm doing it. Here, look at this. Check this out. From here to here, this is a rubbing of a boar trying to rub parasites off its skin. And if you look right here, you'll see two indentations. This is a male boar trying to sharpen up its tusks. And that is a very, very good sign that uh, there is a big boar in this area. So right now, I know I'm on the right trail. Here's another trail that is so prevalent along this cliff. I mean, take a look at this. That is a very prevalent trail. So actually, there's not one trail here. There's three. In special operations, whenever you're getting ready to go out and do a mission, you're going to set up a terrain model. It's three-dimensional. You can see it. If you have questions, you'll be able to look at it, visually get an idea of what you're doing. These rocks right here is this cliff. The water in the stream is down here. We are right here up against this cliff. This is the main trail right here. This is the one where the pig crap was on. Then there's another one about 20 meters down from that. So you've got three avenues of approach that these pigs are using to come in and out of this area. I've got to funnel these animals into a choke point 
over here by using that fence. Using the chicken wire he found at the stream, Joe makes a snare. Tie that to the tree, the animal steps in the snare, it'll wrap around its leg. Then sets up a linear ambush, a technique commonly utilized in unconventional warfare to funnel enemy combatants into a kill zone. Hopefully the pig's gonna come along here, hit it, shh, funnel it right in. I just wanna camo myself up a little bit. I've never hunted boar in my life. I have friends that do, and I've been told by them that they've shot them five or six times with a rifle, and they just keep on coming. And this is also gonna help me disguise my scent, as these animals have very, very good sense of smell, more so than a deer. I need every edge I can get to get one of these animals. I'm gonna throw every trick in the book I have at this thing. As I'm laying here, I see this boar coming straight down the side of this cliff, heading directly towards my snare. If this boar steps in that snare, it's game time. I don't expect anybody to understand what I'm gonna to say to you. But taking of life, even this animal right here, is very personal, <laughs> needless to say, for a guy like me. And to kill something where you can feel its lifeblood come out from underneath you is quite a uh, experience and if you're not up for the challenge for doing something like this in a survival situation you need to stay the f home plain and simple give me a hand holy f here grab this You hungry? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I hope Cody's happy. We've got food now, uh, a lot of food, and we're gonna get cooking this more and have a nice feast. You're the man of honor. <sighs> no. That's what I'm talking about right there. What do you think? No, oh, it's really it's some of the best pork I've ever had. Yeah, man. You know, Cody, hopefully this has established some kind of trust and confidence in each other. I don't want to get hurt, man. I mean, come on. After all the shit I've been through, do you think I want to go get gored by a boar? Um, no. If I wasn't comfortable doing this, I wouldn't have done it. I hear what you're saying. You know, I, I get it. You know, if you don't compromise and cooperate, both parties are dead. There you go, man. <laughs> here's, here's to your pig. Thanks, brother. Cody, can you see? We got a beach. Finally. Does it open up any? Wow. What I'm gonna do is get to that rock and see if I can see around the corner. Do you wanna be point out there? Sure, Take man. that visible vest out exactly. there? Exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. And I'll work on building some fires here. If a boat or a plane or something comes by, I'll signal you with the vest to light some fires on here. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Okay. Since we're in an area that skunked us for visibility, we're gonna create that visibility. I'm gonna make three separate fires as sign of universal distress, build them, and then light them as soon as Joe signals me that there's either a chopper, a fixed wing aircraft, or a ship. The only way someone's gonna know we're here is for them to see the signal fire, and Cody is not gonna be able to see 
when to light the fire. I will. That's going to work. All we're doing right now is waiting for rescue. not just a paradise playground. It's a place that can kill people. But cooperation is always the way to stay alive. Cody and I are both type A personalities. But at the end of the day, you've got to be smart enough to know that this is a team event. If you can do that, you can accomplish any goal and get through any kind of situation, regardless of how bad it may be. Bro, that was Sweet, textbook. Dude. That was freaking Sweet. textbook. <laughs> 